our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Greetings should never be ignored in the interview. Sure. It is helpful to shorten the distance between you and the interviewer and create a lively atmosphere. Appropriate greetings will win the interviewer's favorable impression. But you should pay special attention to your words and attitudes. In the beginning of the interview, greet the interviewer with a kind smile. In the interview, use polite words, such as, thank you, or, please. That's right. Details can mean succeed or fail. When talking you should focus your eyes on the interviewer in order to closely watch his or her expressions. At the end of the interview, you should make your acknowledgments and say good. Whatever the result is, you should keep your good demeanor. Only in this way can you leave a good impression on the interviewer. In short, you should present the best of yourself throughout the interview. Listen, Christine, you cannot afford another day off. You've called in sick five times in the last three weeks. I know, Mr. Douglas. But I am really sick. Well, I want a note from the doctor on this one. And, to be honest, if this continues, we may not be able to employ you here. I understand, sir. I'll bring a doctor's note in tomorrow. I am sorry, Mr. Douglas. Are you okay there? Oh, my computer crashed again. Can I help? That would be great. I hate working with computers. Dear, they are unreliable sometimes. This is the schedule for the project. Any comments or questions? I think we'll need more time than the schedule gives us. Don't worry. These dates are only targets. Lily, I am terribly sorry about this. But we have to put off or cancel tomorrow's meeting. Cancelled? That's just can't happen. Sorry to say, but nothing can be done. The equipment broke down and can't be fixed till Friday. Oh, I hope it be fixed on Friday. These goods can be broken very easily, so we would be thankful if you would be sure to use durable packing materials. That will be no problem. We never use any kind of inferior packaging. Your goods will be safe. Good. Can we ask you to put a country of origin mark on each container? We always do that, but I will make a point to check it for you since it is so important. Do you always put a quality mark on each container? For this shipment it is crucial to us that you do. We don't usually do that unless we are asked to. I'll tell my staff to take care of this for you. Thanks. This shipment is so important to us there cannot be any foul-ups. How's the building work going? Well. I'm afraid we've had a slight delay. What's the problem? We really can't have any delays at this stage. We're working to a really tight schedule and we're already over budget. The cement arrived late but don't worry. I'm confident we can still meet the deadline. The crew is on standby and as soon as the concrete has set we can get started again. Okay. Keep me informed. JT must be ready on time. Stephen, can you give us a summary about your work? What do you get from your work? 
I have accumulated a wealth of practical experience in work as a chief advertisement designer. Moreover, I realized teamwork is the key to success. Why do you think so? I think building team spirit among the co-workers is very important. I believe we can accomplish a miracle if we stick together. Very good. Anything else? My advantage is that I have strong sense of responsibility. But I lack patience. I must praise you for your modesty and diligence. What's your plan next? I will listen and learn more when I start my new job. I plan to become more professional in my field. I've got to commend you. You really did a good job. Thanks for your compliment, that there is still plenty more to learn. Okay, Rebecca. Well, I think you've given me a clear impression of your positive qualities, but let's talk a little bit about your weaknesses. Okay. Well, it's always more difficult to describe them, isn't it? Definitely. But if you had to pinpoint one weakness, what would it be? Well, as I mentioned before, I do tend to get frustrated if I don't see progress in my work or career. I suppose I'm quite a restless character. My father always taught me to be a high achiever so. So would you say if things don't go your way at work it could easily get you down? Well, in a way yes. But I must say that even if I'm not completely happy in my work I always give 110% I would never shirk my responsibilities. I suppose sometimes I expect too much too soon. Well, you know journalism is a highly competitive world, so you do need to keep pushing yourself it's true. Okay. Well let's move on to talk about the job position here, shall we? Yes, please. Welcome to our company. I really love this kind of atmosphere. An impressive officer is vital to the image projected by the company. There are people everywhere. What's that girl doing? She is dealing with customers and driving up new business. The guy next to her is in charge of their office computer network. And what about that man there? He is our accountant. I see you have a coffee bar for a water cooler. The staff here must be comfortable. I think it really helps morale when people feel supported by their employers. Indeed, they are. Keeping staff happy is the only way to keep them with the company. Mr. Carter has asked me to come over to invite you to the banquet held in your honor at the Shangri-La Hotel at 7 o'clock this evening. Here's an invitation for you. How nice of him. I'll be delighted to go. But what time would be convenient? If you could be ready by, say 6.30 o'clock, I'll be at the hotel to pick you up. That's great. It's most thoughtful of you to do this, Miss Rose. It's my pleasure. Well, then, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye and see you tonight, Miss Rose. I am here to tell you that the clothes are very much to taste of our market and the customers are quite satisfied with the excellent quality. We are very glad to hear that. We are sure that there will be a bigger market for our products in this country. Well, we have an extensive sales organization and a thorough knowledge of Asian market. Your products would sell very well here. We are prepared to do more business with you. We are also interested in handing a sole agent for you. We really appreciate your efforts. Before we go to the core of matter, can you give us some idea of them on which you would be willing to operate as our agent? No problem. I am waiting for a fax but just now I found there's something wrong with the fax machine. 
What's wrong with the fax machine? Is it urgent? Yes, very urgent. And there is no other fax machine around. And the office of our boss is closed, so I cannot use his machine either. And his secretary is out. Do you have any suggestion? Either call this extension number 0085 or ask them to send the fax to you as email. You print it out. Fred, is it a good time to talk with you? Sure. What's the matter? As you know, I have accepted three new programs in our company this year, but I am not sure I can do my work well. And right now my dilemma is that I cannot find a person whom I can trust for these three programs. What do you think we can do about this? We are not willing to miss the chance. However, our staff is not big enough now. So, to be honest, I want you to help me to finish all these programs. Well, sir, I am busy in market development. So I am worried whether I can do this. I am aware you have been working so hard. Before hiring more employees, you are still needed to do this. Okay, I will try this. I am thinking about resigning from my current job. Have you thought about it seriously? Yes, I have been thinking about it for quite a while. Now I finally make up my mind to leave. I have given my resignation letter to our boss last Friday. Okay, did you find a new company? Yes, I will move on to XYZ company. Good for you, but your leaving will be a great loss to us. It is so nice to work with you. Thanks. I had learned so much from you and our colleagues. Come in, Arnold. Have a seat. Good morning. Would you like something to drink? No, thank you. I just had two cups of coffee at my desk. So, you're a serious coffee drinker. Yes, it keeps me going. Sometimes I think I'm addicted. Well, coffee isn't such a bad thing. Everyone has to have something. For me, it's cigars. Are you a cigar smoker? No, I've tried them. But I'm not really a smoker. Well, what would you like to talk to me about? I wanted to set up this meeting with you to discuss a little proposal. I'm glad when people have new ideas around here. Tell me about it. It is about the staff meetings. You know how we have a staff meeting every Tuesday. Yes. Well, I have been thinking about it. And I believe we could do things more efficiently here. What do you suggest? The way it is now, the staff from all four branches get together once a week. We meet for one hour. But I think a lot of time is wasted in transportation. You mean because people have to go across town to get here? Yes. Some people spend half of the morning on the road. That's true. But our staff meetings are very important, Arnold. I don't know how we can function without them. I think they are important too. That's why I want people to have a better attitude about them. I know a lot of people think the meetings aren't too useful. I'm aware of that. Here's what I propose. I think we should meet once every two weeks, but meet for 90 minutes or more. Well. I also think the meetings should be more focused. And I would be willing to take responsibility for that. You mean you want to run the meetings? No, not really run them. But I could help organize them. I could discuss meeting topics with you, and then prepare a schedule for each meeting. I could then send an email to all the staff to explain the coming meeting. This way the meetings would become more focused, and people would prepare better. Hmm, 
But we would meet every two weeks. I really think it would work. The meetings could be longer and better organized. I am not against the idea, Arnold. It may really be more efficient, as you say. He'll tell you what we can do. Why don't we try your proposal for a month and see how it works? Excellent. I would be happy to get started on it. I will call the managers. Then tomorrow I'll tell you when we can schedule our first meeting in this new style. To get around your difficulty, Mr. Smith, I'd suggest that you reduce your order by half. You can send in an additional order later. Well, I'll consider the possibility. By the way, when do I have to open the LC if I want the goods to be delivered in June? A month before the time you want the goods to be delivered. Could you possibly affect shipment more promptly? Getting the goods ready, making out the documents, and booking the shipping space—all this takes time, you know. You cannot expect us to make delivery in less than a month. Very well, Mr. Zhang. I'll not reduce my order. I'll take the full quantity you offer. And I'll arrange for the L C to be opened in your favor as soon as I get home. When will that be? Early next month. In the meantime, I should be very pleased if you would get everything ready. I hope that the goods can be dispatched promptly after you get my L C B. You can rest assured of that. How good is your Mandarin? Mandarin is the language I spoke since I was a child, so I can speak it very fluently. What dialect do you understand? I can speak and read Cantonese because I worked in Guangdong for many years. Excuse me, sir. I am coming to apply for the position of accountant. Oh, please sit down. What university did you graduate from? I graduated from Tianjin College of Commerce. What was your major at college? My major was accounting. Can you name some of the courses you completed in relation to accounting? Sure. I took such courses as accounting principles, commercial accounting, cost accounting, industrial accounting. Electronic data processing accounting and accounting involved in foreign capital enterprises. What kind of work are you doing now? I'm engaged in accounting. What are your responsibilities in your present work? My work involves various routine bookkeeping and basic accounting tasks, including journal entries, verifying data, and reconciling discrepancies. Preparing detailed reports from raw data and checking accounting documents for completeness, mathematical accuracy, and consistency. Are you familiar with the PRC financial and tax regulations? I think so. Can you tell me something about this balance sheet now? Of course. This balance sheet contains three major sections. That is. Assets, liabilities, and owners' equity. So you see, the total current liabilities of your company are three dollars three hundred seventy-two thousand, and the owners' equity is five dollars four hundred thousand. That means that the total assets, which is equal to the sum of the creditors and the owners' equities, are eight dollars seven hundred seventy-two thousand. What's the creditors' equity? The creditors' equity is the same as liabilities. M R C Rabi, I'm pleased to see you. I've looked over your resume, Ms. Jane. I see you've already have quite a lot of experience in secretary work. Could you tell me something about your talent with that company? Oh yes, I worked there for two years. Just graduated from college. N. It was a good company to work for. I enjoyed my time with them.
Do you like that work? Yes, I like it very much. The work was not very demanding, and the people I work with were friendly. Why do you want to leave the company? Because it is an age of challenges. I must accept the new challenge in my life. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.